Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ in Norway. I'm uh, Ramazan Arkan. I am the pastor of Antalya Evangelical Church in Antalya, Turkey. On behalf of my church, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting and praying for us. And also thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share with you guys today. Today, I want to share with one of the Jesus miracle that it encouraged me last one and a half year. When we look at Matthew chapter 14, we see that Jesus does one miracle that he feed 5,000 uh, people with five loaves of bread and two fishes. And through this miracle, actually Jesus give us lots of great messages that we can embrace. And this message really spoke to my heart in last one and a half year. Before we go into this miracle, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever felt uh, overwhelmed by the, all the problems that you have in your life? Have you ever felt helpless in a situation that you are in it? Have you ever felt uh, you are not enough or you don't have enough? Have you ever been uncertain what God has called you to do? My friend, if your answer is yes to any of those questions, I believe that today's miracle will help you and to encourage you. Because God used greatly this passage in the last one and a half years. I don't know how much you guys heard about it, but uh, last year in February 6, as a nation, we woke up in a very different world. And several huge earthquakes happened in east part of Turkey and hit 11 cities. And after that, thousands of buildings were flattening and thousands and thousands of people were uh, died. And when I was watching the television and when I saw all these people, what they are going through on the news, I felt inside of my heart that God is calling us to go and help those earthquake victims. But suddenly I came up with this excuses and I thought we were just a small group of uh, people in Antalya and we don't have enough people. And it's also uh, distances is so far. There's 10 hours far from us and we can't go there. And then we thought that we don't have enough resources we don't have enough people. We don't have enough uh, money to help those people. But uh, later, uh, next couple of days, when I was keep watching the news and I saw the people were, they were in the street on the television. They were on the street that they were calling for help, people to come and help them. After I watched those news over and over, I couldn't resist that call anymore and I knew deep inside of my heart that God wants us to go and help those people and then next day I announced to our church that uh, we are going to the east part of Turkey if anyone wants to come with us they are more than welcome and then something amazing happened 11 people next day sign up for this trip those were the people that they wanted to take their vacation day off and go to the east part of Turkey and help those people. And then also uh, I told the church that if anybody wants to bring anything to donate those people uh, in the earthquake zone, they can bring it to the church. And then next couple of days, something amazing happened. Lots of people brought blankets, clothes, food, and other needs of item. And then our church started to fill up with the donation. I thought that we can do maybe two or three trips to Earthquake Zone and uh, fill up our van with those donations and take it to those people. And then right away, uh, next day, 11 with 11 people we had east part of turkey we fill up donations in our van and we headed to the east part of turkey once we got there actually the situation was worse than what we saw on the news people were in the street they were without homes 
and shelter and they were without food and drinks and not just only physical needs but they were so afraid they were so uh sad because they l- lost many of their loved ones and people were crying help and they were in a great trauma and loss and as immediately three or four other turkish churches would come together and we set up a, a christian camp and in our camp we set up also a kitchen tent and we started to cook hot meal for those people and then uh, suddenly many people started come to the our camp area to get some help and we started distributing uh, all these blankets and clothes and other needs of items to those people but you know every day i see that crowd started grow and grow many people started coming to the our camp area and asking for help when i look at the crowd and i thought that you know this is so many people how can we help these people then right there when i was thinking like that god gently remind me this miracle and he showed me through this miracle that instead of focusing on what we can do focus on what he can do that's why i love this miracle because this miracle shows us that it shows us that how great and powerful our god is in this miracle we see that jesus uh when he was with his disciples he wanted to go somewhere else with his disciples that they can have a rest because mark gospel tells us that he was so busy for doing ministry uh that he and his disciples didn't even have a time to eat they were tired they needed rest and jesus took his disciples to go some uh, where that they can have little retreat after they went to this solidarity place and then suddenly this crowd somehow they found jesus again and they uh, when they found jesus jesus look at the crowd and the passage tells us that in matthew when he sees the crowds he felt compassion and then even that he had other things in his mind he wanted to rest instead of resting he took action again he went into the crowd and started helping them and providing their needs healing their sicknesses and because he felt compassion and love on them and i believe today jesus feels the same thing when he look at the turkey when he look at the earthquake zone when he look at the world when he look at norway in your church in my church when he sees the people that who are in need he felt compassion on them that's why uh, jesus started doing ministry when he was helping those people time went so late and then disciples came to jesus and they said jesus time is going so late sent the people away that they can go and find some help from somewhere else and then jesus tell them people don't need to go elsewhere this is a amazing point isn't it because if jesus is right there among them we don't need to drag to people other places because if jesus is right there he is enough no one can help more than jesus can help to those people that's why jesus said to his disciples that they don't need to go elsewhere you give them food when jesus said that i believe that uh disciples were confused because think about that put yourself in that situation that there was more than a thousand five thousand people and then they were all hungry and in need and jesus tells you you give them food we see in john gospels that disciples were 
confused and they gathered together and they started discussing uh, among these issues uh, among themselves. Because what Jesus was asking from them was impossible. Even we see that in John Gospel, Philip started doing little math because they couldn't understand how they can do it. What Jesus asked them to do was impossible. You know, after uh, Jesus said that, disciples came to Jesus and they said, we don't have enough. We only have five loaves of bread and two fishes. How can we do with this what you ask us to do? They thought that they only had five loaves of bread and two fishes. But actually, they didn't have only five loaves of bread and two fishes. They had five loaves of bread, two fishes, and plus Jesus. But they didn't realize that. After they said that, this is what we have, Jesus said, bring it to me. I believe that's the key. What they thought was in their hand was little. But when Jesus, when they gave what uh, in their hand, little one, to the Jesus, Jesus took five loaves of bread and two fishes and he blessed it. And then after that, five loaves of bread and two fishes multiply it. And all the people ate and they were satisfied. Even they collect 12 baskets of leftover. You see, my friend, this is the point. Sometimes we think that we are not enough. We don't have enough. We don't have enough resources. We don't have a ability we don't have enough gift but when we bring what little in our hand to the Jesus Jesus took it and bless it and multiplies it you know how I know because when we start the helping the uh, earthquake relief work we only had two thousand dollars to help those people but after we started we end up helping $450,000. We spent $450,000 for the earthquake zone. How did that happen? Because once we obeyed Jesus' call, he started providing all these, our needs, through the organization and other things that we were able to help and reach out those people. And also we thought that we can only do maybe a couple of trips to earthquake zone. But we did more than 20 trips and not only fill up our van, our cars, but also I sent many blankets, clothes, food and other needs of items with semi trucks. You know, this is what Jesus does. He multiplies it, not only for the, those earthquake people, but I see that in my ministry, too. And I see now that God is bringing more people in our churches. Last year, we baptized 23 people. This year, we baptized 13 people. And in October, we're going to baptize more than 10 people too. What I see is God is sending more people uh, to our church. And our church is growing. When we started our church as a home church in 1992, we were just six people and one church, home church. But now we have about 250 people that coming from Islamic background to Christ. And uh, they are the follower of Christ. Now we have a 250 people and not only one church, we have also three churches on the west and the east and the south part of Antaya. Our ministry is growing. People are coming to faith and God is working among us because we obey the God's call. Even though we know that we are a small group of people, maybe we think sometimes that we are not enough. But what we bring, what we have to the Jesus, he took it and multiplies. And he uses you guys to us to do that because of your help we were able to do many things. That's why I just wanted to take this moment and tell you guys, thank you so much 
for all your support and help and prayers. I just want you to guys know that what God is doing in Antalya, Turkey, you are also part of this because of your prayer and your support. And thank you so much, all your help. And thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for listening to me. God bless you, my friend.